my name is Cody I'm with uh, Smucker Manufacturing and we're going to do a VisionWorks IC400 license plate camera system install uh, this is what the kit consists of you've got your 30 foot cable your camera license plate camera your 4 inch monitor and then your harness the mount for your monitor and then a cigarette lighter adapter for a power supply. Uh, the install we're going to be doing is on a uh, newer Toyota Tundra. So first thing I did here is I went ahead just right out right right off the bat I just did the quick camera install uh, there on the license plate. Um, I think in most cases you know most people will have a, a frame on their license plate um, and I've noticed with that it, it pitches the camera at just the right angle for uh, situations where you're using a, a ball hitch on your on your pickup. Uh, but in this case uh, we weren't using a license plate frame so I uh, used little rubber shims to put the camera at the right kind of pitch um, to get it in view with that uh, with the ball hitch. So here's the back side of the bumper. Um, I've got the camera installed and I uh, brought the wires uh, through one of the the camera wire. I popped it through one of the holes back behind the license plate and just kind of coiled it around that harness the, for the for the trailer connector and uh, I just plugged it into the 30 foot cable. Now in this case on the Toyotas, the frame rail has a channel in which you can run that cable along the inside of. Uh, not all of them are the same. Um, Fords tend to use kind of a sealed box style frame. Um, and I think Chevy uses kind of a method similar to the Toyotas using a kind of an angle. Uh, angle frames. So here's a nice view of what I was talking about. Here's the inside of the frame rail and you can see the cable where I ran along the inside of the frame rail here. Um, you know, like I said before uh, there's not a whole lot of need for using any kind of zip ties or anything because it just kind of lays inside that frame rail real nice and clean. Um, but this was the only obstacle I came across was a fuel tank. But, uh, you know, again, it's just something that takes a little bit more time. But, you know, it wasn't, wasn't too terribly bad. But uh, right after that, yeah, it was, it's pretty straight and simple. Now we get to kind of the fun part um, where you have to find a way to get the cable into the cab of the vehicle. Um, they all, they all kind of have a different way of doing it. Um, with the Ford F-150s, um, the easiest way I found is there's a where the main wire harness comes into the cab. It actually comes in underneath the driver's um, floorboard. So you just kind of peel the carpet to the side, and there's a rubber boot that you can punch a hole in and run your cable right into the cab, nice and clean. Um, in this case with the Toyotas, um, I found the easiest way to do it is to actually run it into the engine compartment from underneath and run it back behind the brake cylinder. And what you see here is a rubber boot um, that one of, the, one of the wire harnesses run through. Um, it, it took a little bit of, took a little bit of time, but uh, Probably, probably the most time-consuming part of this. But uh, what I ended up doing is underneath there's a kind of a rubber nipple that sticks out, and I ended up cutting that nipple, and it opens up a kind of a path. And then I took a piece of wire and just chased the cable on through, and just pulled it through. And when all said and done, you got a nice clean finish. You know, and it doesn't look like anything, you know, it almost kind of has a factory look to it because, I mean, you're not altering anything. And, uh, yeah, it runs it right inside the cab underneath the 
underneath the dash. And uh, that, I'll, I'll show you that, that right after this. All right, well, we've got our cable uh, routed along the frame rail underneath the pickup. Um, we brought it up under into the, uh, into the engine compartment. And then we found a nice little passageway um, through the firewall utilizing a uh, rubber boot that was already there that is used for channeling the wire harness from the cab into the engine compartment. So we just utilized that and ran the cable through there. And uh, here we are inside the cab of the pickup. Um, the cable, kind of hard to see, but uh, yeah, you can kind of see right there, the black, black cable right there where it comes into the cab. And then we just brought it down, and then there's our wire harness right there. And uh, we just, what he did was we just took out the one of the uh, plastic covers. Right along here, you've got your uh, your scuff plate, and then there's this rubber, or uh, I should say, plastic cover that goes in right there, covers up all the wiring. And we just tuck that in there nice uh, As far neat. as the monitor, as you can see, there's the where the monitor cable meets up with the harness. Uh, we just took the monitor cable and we just ran it right along the, right along the rubber door gasket. And uh, after, after different positionings of the monitor we found this to be the probably the best best option best place to put it so it's out of your view when you're driving um, but it's still you know in clear sight so you're not taking your eyes off the road um, you know while you're backing up you still got a good view of what's out in front of you while you're looking at your monitor while you're backing up but yeah we just took the wires and just ran them right along here and kind of tucked them in behind the dash and then right along the door seal and then brought it right down to here and uh, plugged it into the harness. So now we're gonna talk about the electrical hookup. In this case, we're gonna be doing a five inch monitor. So the first decision you need to make is whether you're going to power it up with a cigarette lighter adapter that's included or going directly to the battery. In this case, you're seeing we're connecting the female power red adapter to the cigarette lighter adapter. And it's very important that this particular connection, the pigtail coming off the monitor, going into the main harness, that you line up the two arrows here and do not force it together. If you do that and bend a pin, um, the camera system will not work and it will void the warranty. In the case where you want to use direct power, do not use the cigarette lighter adapter and simply connect the red to power and the black to ground. The blue wire that's here is only if you want video camera input 2 to be triggered when the implement is put into reverse. So again, you're using just the red to power and black to ground if you're hardwiring it. And the most important thing when you're hooking up a 5 inch or a 4 inch monitor kit is the only connector that's going to automatically be the default is going to be this one that is tagged V1. V2 is only um, activated when there's power to the blue wire. So in the case where you want to use a 5 inch monitor with two inputs, you can put power to the blue wire, but we suggest putting a toggle switch in that line so that you can let the monitor know when you're the one wanting to look at camera one or camera two. Here it is when everything's all put back in place. Can't see the cables, can't see the harness.
getting in and out of your rig, having your, you know, scuff plate popping up. Um, you know, and like in this case with this cover here, you know, all there was was just one plastic little nut that, you know, you just release and, uh, you know, all this, all of it came off. and ran the cable up under the dash and uh, whenever you need it you just plug it in and uh, start backing up and then when you're done with it just unplug it and in this case you know the cigarette lighter adapter is just tucked in the cubby right there hopefully it's enough to you know give you an idea how easy it is to uh, install one of these camera kits you know and uh, you know again it will vary depending on the vehicle um, but overall you know it's they're not they don't differ too much from each other but uh, yeah, well, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.